What's up everyone, this is Velarde, and right now I'm about to show you how to make your 808s hit hard. Let's get it. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to just put in the 808. I'm just going to EQ it real quick. Now usually my 808s are EQ before I even start this, but I just want to show you just this little process real quick. It's just better to EQ everything so you're just prepared before you even start. You know what I'm saying? You could just finish a beat a lot quicker. Let me just go ahead and uh, cut itself and check the audio pitch region. Pretty sure this one is. Yeah, this one's C. All right, so. All right, so I'm just going to put in something. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting in something random. I'm not trying to play a pattern right now. All I'm trying to do is just EQ this. Just gonna press it. Actually, I wanna slide this up a little. There we go. I just want some like, cause the frequency dips when you slide it up higher and I just wanna be able to get some in there. Take off a little bit of the low, but not a lot of the 808. So, and then, okay. And I still wanna take off more cause this is like really in, you know, it depends on how low your rims are and your and your claps and everything. So that's pretty good right there. And then we can put the, the kick will fit somewhere in here. But for now, that's good. What I like to do is I like to turn the attack off for the 808, put the hold up, turn the decay down, the sustain out, and the release for my 808s. One thing I like to do is you can put a fruity limiter on here. You can go right to limiter. Now on my master thing, I use ozone and I know that for this master system, it's super helpful. But if I'm mixing my own stuff, it depends on what I put the ceiling on. So the ceiling for, I know for that master would be negative one. So I'm using the hint panel. That's That'll be at the top, right underneath the file and edit thing. Uh, when you just hover over something, it'll show up right under your name. So yeah, I'm just gonna take the attack, release and sustain off. And I'm just gonna, so this is gonna boost it up and give it more drive. So let's go ahead and bypass this. By the way, bypass just means that I'm going over here and I'm just clicking this and that's muting the effect. So that's without the limiter. This is with the limiter. Without the limiter. And actually, when you're looking at it, you'll see this is without the limiter. It's kind of weaker. So over here. And this is with fruity limiter, by the way. So you guys have this. Um, let me just turn it up even higher. So you can right click and press reset. By the way, if you want to copy the value, say like, I like how this sounds, but I want to see if I can make it hit harder and turn the gain up in a, a little bit further just to give it more punch. Press copy value, and then you can reset it and try again. You know what I'm saying? So that's hitting, right? So say if you don't like what you just did, you don't like how loud you put it, and you want to go back to what you did originally, like that original volume you had. Remember, we press copy value. So all you have to do is press paste value and it'll put it back on the one that you copied before. So that's a really useful tool. And it actually works for the faders and the everything here with the channel volume and channel rack volume and stuff like that. I definitely love the Fruity Limiter. It comes in handy. Um, another thing you can do is you can go back to Fruity Limiter and you can put on some compression. And this is awesome. I love the compression. So um, yeah, I'm just going to. Oh, man. So I love it because it's compressing and it's pretty much making everything the same volume. So it's awesome. Also, another thing you can do too if you want, let's go ahead and take off the Fruity Limiter. You can go ahead and put on some fast distortion on. This also comes with FL Studio. So this is fastest right here. And so yeah, you could just mess with it. See how it sounds, this sounds like how it kind of did before we even put the fast distortion on. You just kind of like turn the mix up. What's more distortion on it? I'm glad you guys watched this, I hope I helped you. And let me know if you liked this video. Go ahead and put a like on it. Uh, comment down in the description, tell me what you liked and what else you wanna see. And I'll see you on the next one, peace.